All right, Jenny's on Facebook. Um, it's kind of a long question. So Jenny, I'm just gonna put something vague up there like, I, like you see and then I'll read your question. She says, my third grade son was really upset this morning and uh, it took me a while to figure out what was going on with him regarding distance learning. It turns out he was upset because his paper turned in was rejected for answering. Uh, I don't know to listing three ways you choose to meditate on a series of three to four videos that were posted to help him choose how to meditate. Uh, she says, I did email the principal, however, I'm also an employee and it's kind of scary situation to be in. And I'm wondering if this is something as a Christian I should overlook or if this is something that I need to be taking a stand on. She says it's a pretty emotionally exhausting year, obviously already because they're doing distance learning. What advice would you give to Jenny in that situation? Well, that's that's teaching religion. That's Eastern religion. And, and so I would be having a talk with, uh, if it was me and my kid was involved with that, I'd be having a talk with a teacher and say, you, you know, tell them that, do you realize that meditation comes from Hinduism and Eastern religions? And so are you teaching my kid religion? And then I'd have a conversation with the principal too about it. Uh, because it's out of line. That's, that's not what's supposed to be happening. And so, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow my kid to do that. You know, one of the, one of the problems with uh, Eastern meditation is, is that um, it's all about emptying your mind and uh, many times they'll give you a mantra. And so it depends on, on what exactly is going on in that situation, but they'll give you a mantra. And uh, the mantras that are given, uh, if, you're, if you're talking about Hinduism, are actually one of the names of the Hindu gods. And the Bible's clear in 1 Corinthians chapter 8 that the gods of the unbelievers, the gods of the pagans, are um, demons. And so when you, when you look at that, um, what you're doing is you're emptying your mind and then you're chanting a demon's name if you're, if you're doing the, the Eastern meditation uh, that the Bible speaks about. And let me just give you the reference on, on that passage. Um, it says, uh, this is in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, uh, let's see. Oh, it says, oh, maybe, maybe that's in chapter, chapter 10. What are you looking for? I'm looking for um, the passage that talks about the pagans are worshiping demons. Ten twenty. Yep, there it is. Uh, so, First Corinthians chapter ten, verse twenty. Thanks, man. Uh, rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I don't want you to have fellowship with demons. And so, uh, again, I, I don't know exactly, you know, uh, in your uh, question, you talked about uh, three or four different ways to meditate, and I don't know exactly what they're talking about, but if we're talking about Eastern meditation and mantras, uh, you're talking about uh, pagan gods' names and uh, emptying your mind. Biblical meditation is about uh, taking the word of God, taking the things of God. It's not about emptying your mind, it's about filling your mind. And so it's exactly the opposite. Uh, so the Bible does talk about meditating, uh, but it talks about it in the sense of um, you're meditating on God's word, you're meditating on God's goodness, uh, you're meditating on the Lord himself. And, and so, um, yeah, that's, a, that's something that I, I would have a talk with people about if they were doing that with, with my children and then refu you know, refusing them to give a grade on a paper of all things. Yes, I would, I would talk to them. So, uh, good question, Jenny. Thanks for posting that. Um, so, my son's in the second grade. I have a daughter in fourth grade. Um, and at that age, I'm not going to have them get into a battle with the teachers. I'm going to do what you said and, right. hey, quit picking on my kids type of thing. Right, yeah. If they were older, though, it'd be cool, like, high, depending on the maturity, high school, right. certainly college level, now I would have them start engaging. Right. And I would write answers in the paper, what's your view on meditation with biblical yeah, um, exactly. apologetics. Yeah. So, but and I mean, so whatever she said, third grade or second grade, whatever it was, yeah. that's, they're just preying on the little kids. Yeah, it's not appropriate. Nope.